Hey guys, it's Uncle Doug coming to you from uh, uh, one of the ministry houses here in Liberty. I got some interesting, exciting, and or whatever news, but uh, this video I'm doing right now because I need some engineering brainy type, and I know you're out there, that knows about Stirling engines. And um, if you have no clue what a Stirling engine is, then you're probably not the person I'm asking for right now anyway. But uh, basically, a Stirling engine runs on thermal changes, differences, and uh, can generate electricity with nothing except a thermal difference to run it. Uh, so it can be really, really efficient. And we're in a unique, beautiful, amazing position because we have a cave that's 55 degrees all the time. And the outside temperature right above it that could range anywhere from 100 degrees to negative 10 to negative 20 degrees. There's a Stirling Type A engine where you have two pistons and a pipe that runs between them. And so the hot air or helium or whatever you want to run it on, um, as, it, as one gets cold, the other one expands and then, and then it switches. And so wherever your source of heat is, let's say here's your source of heat, as it expands, it pushes the gas out and turns a piston. Down here's a big flywheel, and the other one goes up. Okay? So, and then as the other one um, cools, uh, whatever. Anyway, so it, it moves the pistons like this. A flywheel turns. The flywheel uh, turns a... A belt that runs a generator um, that uh, stores electricity and batteries or runs a light or whatever. Anyway, I would like to build a great big one um, with one piston in the cave at 55 degrees and one piston above the cave getting sunlight on it and or a Fresnel lens helping it along too. Um, but just the, just the outside air most of the year is going to provide heat above and cold below. And, um, these cranks will turn the flywheel. <coughs> we have several places on the cave where we have a hole going up to the surface big enough to run hoses and to, um, um, have a place where, the, the, the crankshaft from the top one and the crankshaft shaft from the bottom one could both reach that same wheel somehow and uh, turn that flywheel. So um, I need somebody that, that can figure the engineering of that um, and give me some advice on what to build it with, how to build it, and whether it's actually going to generate um, anything. I know that it may need some uh, uh, yank to get it going, um, as with a lot of the, uh, um, the wind turbines and other stuff, you actually spend electricity to get them going, but once they're going, they pretty well keep going. Anyway, um, I just need somebody to talk to me about the feasibility of it. Maybe we start a fire under the one up on the surface in the winter. It would go backwards because it would be hotter in the cave than above, and we can use a clutch and flip it, or the generator can turn either way and generate electricity. I don't know. But um, anyway, if you're interested in this project and uh, you have some knowledge about that, would you contact me directly at FOTM at fellowshipofthemartyrs.com? And uh, let's talk about material lists and what it would take and... and um, how really feasible it is. It's it's going to need to not be speculative. We need to have a pretty good idea that this will work uh, to be worth us spending money on it. Um, I, I've seen all kinds of little teeny ones, and there are great big ones that are generating megawatts of power, um, but not like this one. I, I've, I've never seen anything like this on the scale that we're talking about that could generate substantial electricity. And maybe we build more than one um, if, if uh, we needed to. But anyway, uh, that's all for now. So if you um, would help with this, it'll help run the farm. 
if you don't know who we are, look us up online. But it's if you just hit this because of Sterling Engine. Uh, but we're a nonprofit, eco-friendly Christian community trying to generate power in creative ways for our farm. And um, I think this would be one one way to do it. So <clears throat> at least I'd like to ex examine the possibilities of it. Uh, I like the idea of thermal uh, more than solar in our case because, uh, or w in our case, wind power, we're not really on a high point. I'm not sure how much wind we're really going to generate, but um, uh, solar would be okay most of the year, but a thermal is ideal for us. We got lots of thermal possibilities. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, Get in touch with me, FOTM at fellowshipofthemartyrs.com, if you think you can contribute anything to this. Thanks very much. Bye.